Oh, okay, we've got two people. We're probably just gonna have to start without Angel. Right, just give me a. Let's see. Because. Not argument, but. A little bit of confusion with. Um, casters. Right, just to be clear. Um, Team Blue is. Uh, are seals. the seals? Yes. Uh, wait, hang on. Don't, don't start yet. Hold on. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just about to say, are you ready? Okay, we are just waiting for six cents just to get one person then. Right. Because threat all about, I don't know, he's a sub or something? Angel start, okay. Ruben, you here? Yep. Okay, I'm just gonna... Hello. Can you give me a heads up when the stream starts? Um, it's just about to start now. It's already on. Alright, welcome back everybody to the Black Watchtower competition season 2 pre-season. I'm Tifa Rune and join you today with Angels. Angels say hello. Hello everyone. And today we're going to be looking at the Supersonic Shields versus Six Sense. Now these are two brand new teams coming to the Black Watch Tower competition. Um, and I'm, I'm going to be excited. We've seen a lot of new teams uh, so far in the pre-season and all of those matches were pretty awesome, so hoping this one will be as awesome as those were, or even bigger. Um, we've seen a lot of comps as well, a lot of comps, uh, and 
I'm really excited where these two lie on their power level and on their on their comps. Um, can I don't have much uh, info about these two teams. Um, what about what about you, Angels? Do you know any of these players? Well, I do know Sfeel with it and Tommen a little bit. I've played with them in the past, and I've seen very good things coming out of both those players. So hopefully we'll see a great matchup today between both these teams. Nice. Nice. That's, 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 good, to, that's good to hear. Um, so yeah, uh, it's gonna, just going to be a matter of time before we start this match. Uh, and it's preseason, so these uh, games don't really count, but they're really important. And we've seen we've seen it all week long uh, with other games, and you can really tell what like the power rankings are at the moment, which team is coming out blazing, which team might have a, uh, a rough start to the season. Uh, and due to the season being very short, uh, it's going to be hard for those teams to uh, adapt um, and solve their problems in time to still make it for playoffs, of course. So um, let, let's see what these two teams are like. Uh, we're starting off on Busan. Nice map, nice control map. Busan is, of course, one of the newer control maps to the game. We are going to be starting out on or sorry, Sanctuary. Uh, we see that the control point on this map has a really big drum right in the middle of it. It's a huge now LOS blocker. It's really good for some bunker comps to set up just running down. Uh, mm -hmm. running, Holding down angles on either side of this drum because, frankly, with the double shield uh, being shield meta right now, match. you can just put one shield on either side and it really helps shut down those angles. Right. Right. Well, we've seen we've seen a lot of different comps uh, in the preseason so far. We've basically seen every hero, uh, so a lot more variety uh, as well to maybe counter that uh, very strong double shield, uh, which is still quite quite strong. I think it has been weakened, but it's still still very powerful. Um, and let's let's see what the, these teams are going to run. Uh, double shield has been weakened. Ready you can draw a lot of comparisons to goats in that it's just a very strong comp, and as much as they nerf it over and over again, it's going to take a really big change for it to finally go away. Alright. Starting off, however, we do already see Pharmacy on one side. We, on uh, Sonic 6. Uh, my apologies. <laughs> Uh, Five, sorry, four, I'm bad at names. Three, I'm really sorry about this. <laughs> one. Round um, one. But on the other side, we do see them through Doomfist. Doomfist not being run on the side of Seals here. Running for the Reaper instead. This could really help them win the frontline battle. Is my will. Right. Nice no, shield placement. Can we have to go And ideally, here for Seals, we're going to be able to run the fight. They have the power. We get the value of the power. So, Jim, what is my will? Six cents already uh, all over the point. And getting the first pick as well. Making a second, making a third. Um, oh, coming in clutch, picking up two zone ones. Oh, make it, make it three, yeah. Cleans up the rest. And that's just a simple case of better positioning early on in the fight. Six cents had the position they needed. They took the angle down to the front. It was an easy fight from there on out. Yep. 
It's uh, the seals going back to spawn. Oh, that. They got a. They got their barrage coming up now, but as you can see, six cents already almost four ults already. Uh, it's just the one. Already seen the point at seventy percent. This is gonna feel like a last fight. Bottom of the map now. It's old combo here on the uh, side of Sixth Sense. Yeah, they have all the way safe here, and they have... Honestly, they could probably find a way to switch these out all the way to 99% of their own if they really tried to. Right, yeah. Oh, yeah, they have their old team as well. They're not going to be able to use it. They're not going to be able to use it. These bolts come out from either side. There's a high noon. Nothing gets found with it. We can stick this little person to go down, just hit, but Seal with it finds one, and it looks like and Seals I, are going to be able to pick this, or er, hold this fight. You can see the supercharger effect coming in. Oh. If you let that thing just exist, eventually it's going to do more and more uh, damage, it feels like, and if your barriers are running out, people are starting to die. So definitely don't sleep on the supercharger. And already 50% with only one ult. There's one more ult used to win a fight. This is great. Look at how aggressive they're pushing as well. They're basically holding them to spawn. This is something we are seeing a lot more every day. More spawn holds. And this full aggression really, it really benefits the team holding the point. They have an early fight here because we think Talk about five. This might be the last one of the first point. As the supersonic seals are in the stadium. But if I go ahead and pull this one out early, this field finds another guy with two kills. Man, all these kills come in from the seals are not fortunately for the side of the sense. Only biggest tickets on the point. Nothing can be done here. And with the melee, it's like, so take this first point. <laughs> nice I think it was a very nice rock. <laughs> Onto the incoming Lucio, poor poor Millie. Score. <laughs> One, zero. Not much All you right. can do about a giant boulder hitting you right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for battle. It's a good I'm not one for standing both around. Teams here. And just in general, a lot of a lot of trouble attacking. So mm. Hopefully, we can see something a little different on this map. This map is very different. You can pull high ground and have so much pressure on point just by doing that. Let alone the walls of up and down on point, providing mobile cover for some heroes that need it, like the Reaper. Like the Reaper. Four, three, All right. Two. One. Let's see it. Let's make it happen. Your Round two. Starting now. Rally at my position. And now we see both teams Touch pushing high gun. You do double C2 fights up on high gun here. Double C up here. And the only real big difference is that skills have the main thing. They can make the rest of the push with this wall. Once you double wall gun, just see yeah, it. And then turn down his first kill. And a huge flash big box three is off and helps us. That was done like three people, that's absolutely insane. <laughs> Huge value out of that one stop. And now, the side of Six Sense is both the high ground with their three, with their doom fist. There's so much pressure here. Yeah. Very similar to the first round, very uh, dominant start from Six Sense. Will. Uh, Oh, they go under. That's and smart. They push the point. Oh, he's in the back half. <laughs> Six cents now. He's in a lot of, lot of trouble there to improvise. Oh, they're trying to do it. The kills and bots are dropping now. <laughs> the Super Sonic Shield is already having four kills and flipping the point. They absolutely bamboozle. <laughs> the Six cents. 
it's like a going under go instead of there. going up. <laughs> I'm putting so many resources just off of Great the machine re engaging. Yeah, and, and it forces out so many errors as well if you have to act so suddenly. The punch comes in and the doof is just walled off. Oh, it does, does get the immediate strike to get out of there. Oh, and the re engage almost takes down this field with the meteor tank, but it doesn't matter because the healing isn't there for now. And the Rissa office is still going down. I do come out. Will he find anything calm? He just gets a boost yeah. on the opposition. Great for Nelly, though. And boy, this fight's going oh, real back to start. So you don't know, you do want to be building up your, your uh, point percentage as much as possible, even if that means going in and feeding over and over again, it gets you fat, it gets you close to that 99%. Yeah, in the end, that's what it's all about, really. Uh, that's what it's all about. Five kills going through, only the McCree left alive, and he's gone now as well. It's a team wipe for the supersonic seals, and they flip the point right back. Now you might be looking at this and say, wow, it took them five minutes to win one fight, but in this meta, sometimes you just gotta commit everything you have. And if it ends right. up giving you the win, at the end of the day, it is worth it. Yeah. I mean, well, <laughs> they, got their, they got their ultimate work because they got the whole team. Oh, they got the whole team. Find the stick around the corner, other than that, though, not too much follow up. Now we do see Nelly hands down, both of each other right. somehow. I do put out, and there's not too much shielding up on board. This could be bad. No! Oh, I have another big two! McCree is about to shoot. About to shoot his whole team up. The play steps in and kills him before he can do it. And now and it's like six cutter on the back foot here. They don't have many people on the point now, it's just a tracer. Yeah, a tracer yeah, does that do. Great focus by here, burning down the tracer so quickly. All they will do is finish picking up these daggers and they will cap the point and take this map. And just great ults all around coming from the seals. A little bit of last stuff on the nuts. Actually, the new is in back, never mind. The death loss puts an end to that nonsense. Victory. And first and map great. goes. <laughs> the, uh, the supersonic seals. Those going even, uh, really. You, you can definitely see the, um, the, uh, the person who kind of has. Oh no, the boob! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he did get booped in? Oh uh, yeah, he got booped in, burned the sound barrier off the enemy, enemy Moira and Orissa. This is why you don't need Vulcan Reapers, boys. <laughs> <laughs> but as you were saying, uh, pretty even play on either side. Seals just coming out on top with the ults when they mattered mm -hmm. near the end of the map. And yeah. unfortunately for Sixth Sense, it's just not much you can do when you're down ults. Right. Yeah, we, we've seen, we've seen uh, a fairly even fight, as well as the, the first point went all the way up to 99-99, and this one went uh, to a 100 to like 60. Um, and, you, and you can see Six Sense very, very good on that first engage. That first attack, they got down uh, really solid, because those were probably the most clean team fights Six Sense have won so far. Um... They do like their neutral fights, especially <laughs> with Common on the McCree and the on the on the Doomfist. What a great combo! When you're looking at the Doomfist behind you, you don't see the McCree clicking your heads from the other side, and it's just such a lethal combo to to go up against. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you haven't <laughs> don't get start don't get me started on on the CC and the stuns. Uh, <laughs> 
you know you <laughs> you got enough uh, abilities for to to play aggressively or peel if there is a if the enemy team has a flank on you or you're on the back foot so uh first point to the supersonic seals and that's a point that's very uh very common today in overwatch uh, most of the time, whoever has a better CC just ends up winning. Whoever uses their CC abilities better in combination with each other to to try and lock somebody in an animation or something like that so that they can get burned down. Generally, it is that team that wins team fights until the ults come in, as we saw. <laughs> and really, it's, it's a matter about such careful combinations of abilities and ultimates together at the end of the day, you can win all the neutral fights you want, but if you can't win these ult fights, you're not going to be able to win these maps. Yeah, because you can only have so many neutral fights, really. Um, and realistically, and then, if, uh, if a team is good enough, they could even make it so they take only one neutral fight, and that's at the beginning of the round. Mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're ult trackers or are uh, good enough Traveling at rotating to ults together. And you can just keep rotating new ults in every fight, every fight. And yeah. it'll end up biting you. It'll end up biting you in the rear if you're not really careful Initiating about your ults. Match. Right. Moving on to the second map, Volskaya. Um, again, a really tough uh, map. This is. A lot of, uh, lots of uh, stalling. Uh, Gonna be the famous 2CP. Yeah. <laughs> or should we say infamous at this point? Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've all seen the clips of teams stalling out for like four minutes on these maps, and it is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, we saw uh, two teams yesterday on dive, uh, very dive-based uh, comps. And the stalling ability you have with such high mobility characters is incredible. Uh, <laughs> they really basically Attackers they had a fight for two seconds. minutes straight, and they ended up winning. Uh, the defending <laughs> team, it's it's absolutely crazy. Well, you can't you can't ignore, however, the just tankiness of Arisa Sigma. You can just sit there and take so much damage on the point. So it really depends on what your team is more comfortable on. Of course, as you said, dive does have the mobility. So Five, it really comes down four, to, are you going to run three, a dive or are you going to run a bunker? And one. in this meta, the Attackers bunker just seems to run out the majority of the time. Defend objective A. Oh. You do see a jump right here on the defense level side of the You don't really see it as often, but it does have two nice chokes for you to spam down if you can get there early enough. But time is early kill. The rest of this oh, team is really nice well, anti however. coming in as well. And huge play from the Ana on this side of Six Sense. The anti easily opening up this point for his team to get in there. Only one kill. And once again, it's a very good start from Six Sense. Now they are on this Ryan Zarya, which means their fights would be a lot more like the neutral fights that they're so comfortable on. But it, they do so <laughs> to keep Oh balanced. no! Oh no. The brutal sleep boop combo. <laughs> and now we see Ash McCree on the other side with the Ryan Zarya mirror. Never mind, we will be seeing the Junkrat. But the Ryan Zarya mirror here, what do you think of this? Oh, um, it's me. It, it, it could work. Uh, it definitely holds, holds the aggression um, back easier than double barrier because you. You do have a lot of damage, but once you're on the back foot, you just keep retreating. And mine doesn't really care about your barriers, so... Well, Sixth Sense are making a big opening here on this point. They did lose their Ana, but it doesn't yeah. really seem to matter to them. First pick comes through now. Good and Nelly does it to punish. Supersonic Seals are getting some picks, though. One tick is maybe all of them again. Like. You have to be happy with that. You're not doing too many goals as this side of Sixth Sense, and you still get a tick. It's a great oh, yeah. game for them. They have plenty of time to build up ults. Still five minutes left to go on their attack. 
Yeah, that, it, it's absolutely beautiful. You win, you win the first fight immediately, and then carry the momentum to get a tick uh, onto the second point. That might not sound as much, but ladies and gentlemen, it's two city. One tick is basically the map one. <laughs> Now we do see plenty of ults coming up on either side here, namely the Bob on the oh, defense. Yes. And Bob is such a strong ult. He can test the point, he does a bunch of damage. He even CCs tanks for you. Yeah, oh, oh, no, oh. the shatter blocked. Bob comes out. Bob no. comes in. And the flashback there hits multiple people again, and unfortunately the death ult just doesn't do enough. A lot of ults being committed still. But it will be the defensive side coming out on top. Yeah. This almost feels like it was an ult dump for the side of Sixth Sense so they can stop onto a different comp. Well, they kind of do. You see the Hanzo now coming out. That's definitely a new pick. Trying to deal with that Ash. Um, and we do still see a grab on both sides. Now, neither team really has a great ultimate to combo with their grab, but if you're careful with your Riptire, you can put it in there to deal a ton of damage. And a great reason to run Hanzo right there, you have oh, yes. the one-shot potential. There goes Tommen though, on the flank, not able to kill the Riptire quickly enough. Grab does come out, however. A very nice entry as well. Feel looking to use this grab. Want to go down though? Oh, dumb man to get it off. Ooh, well, Clay getting a few picks was it? Was on. And both second the tanks are now. down. Four, six cents. Oh, and another again, good sleep. another really nice sleep <laughs> dart onto the. And these tanks are here to stall out for this side of seals. And as we said, no. six cents down their tanks. This could yeah, be the end of this push. Although another kill comes out, but they keep streaming in here. The oh, the nano boost. The nano boost is out. He's very close to the shatter. Is he going to use it? Yes, he does. He gets Gets only the Lucio, but that will be enough him. for him. Pins him straight down. And one oh, person left in testing a point goes down, and in six cents, a good push with plenty of time left over. I have it. Yeah. Score zero. Yeah, a really decent first attack, um, or first round on this map for six cents, you know. They get they get the they get the first point immediately, and then have a very nice second attack. Uh, it does take a little. Uh, they, 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 they don't get it in the first time, but they do get that tick, and you see that puts uh, puts them in a really nice position to try again. And get two more, and they did. Yeah, and now we will see how Six Sense attacks. And frankly, I'm expecting something similar. The Ryan Zario, really aggressive push. Maybe not, however. Ooh, will we be seeing Sim antics right now? Oh, yes, we've seen. Uh, <laughs> I've been Attack cheering this on for as long as I can remember the, uh, the preseason season to start, and so far, I believe it was only Axe the Academy who pulled it off. Um, I, I say pulled it off; it didn't really work, but they did. They did use the strategy, and they used it very nicely uh, until they got picked off. But uh, I definitely <laughs> want to see uh, this Three, on the two, try. One. Yeah, we see the Ana attack very here. If the team doesn't Defend know. Objective A. We do see the Ana again on attack, and you, you know, Ana isn't necessarily too bad on this meta. It just hasn't been being played as much. It looks like the Sim TP is going to be scouted early on, and an early rotation oh, is yeah, made. Oh yeah, they, they definitely know they're there now. And this could be bad. A small room again. It's a jump rat. There goes one. Oh. And down to get more. Jumps into the turrets. There's three turrets on that back wall. <laughs> Unfortunate for him. They now we don't see a mercy on the attack, so no res will be there. But it doesn't matter. They have the positioning that they need. They can just play this slow until they're on a come back to spawn. And no res gonna be had for the defense either. Oh, Doomfist gets picked out though. Reaper playing a little bit too aggressive there. 
Yeah. Sim turrets do come out. Will a PP bomb ensue? <laughs> it looks like it won't be enough. It, it seems like Sixth Sense does have control over this point, but Seals don't really want to back out just yet. This could be bad for either side. Yeah, I think they're. It's just gonna. They're waiting. Both teams are waiting to uh, pop an ult. And there's the net booster. And the Riptar. And the Punch Lens. And yes, the Punch Kill. No more main take for the side of uh, Seals. And with that, Dream goes down as well. The whole up there to try and respond. Gets one down, but it won't be enough. That won't be enough. They're probably gonna go rest anyway. Yeah, there it goes. And Hawk now kind of scattered from his team. No one's going really, really going for him though. Takes a reset. The smart play there, trying not to feed yeah. that more ult charge over unless that or any unnecessary ult charge over to the enemy team. And mm -hmm. no real swap ups from either side here. Right. We got no, we a great ultimate economy uh, in six cents. They got five ultimates to work with. Uh, that's a lot, Five and if they space it out well, they might <laughs> might be able to pull hold. TP comes out, there's the wall, but is there any follow-up? Bongo and Samurai oh, come out on both these sides. I feel pretty flexed to get through, getting through. Oh yes, they, it, they are getting those skills. And six cents with great old management right there. Taking down the enemy, what they need to don't really have too many ults left in the base. Only the Rift Tire gonna be coming up soon. But it did get to the fight win when they needed it. Right. Now we do see on the other side, we have the Supercharger, the Nano, and the Supercharger. The Meteor Strike ready. There's a pull with the Meteor Strike. No kills come out of the big break. Uh, Great use of Bane and Fortify. And Dreamer again, overextending. Going a little too deep for his healers to heal up. Yeah, but... Um, playing, playing Ana has, uh, yeah, it has its pros and cons, and a con in this, uh, oh, against this con. Oh, ooh. Uh, this con, that one you're, that once you're behind the shield, uh, you, you cannot get any healing anymore from the Ana. And, yeah, Moria can throw her heal ball, Mercy can just heal you through the shield. Ana, yeah. as you said, just straight up can't get through the shield no matter what you do. Good heads up play on the attacking side though, to use a low hop to deny your res. That means two cards on her next Oh, that's a nice trade coming in. Yeah. There's a Colossus is there, doesn't finish running down the supercharger. Bob, Rana comes out. In now. Get rid of the main tag. Oh, the big oh, red no. Sir Dionysus is not going to just get picks up three. Can he find more and try and help his team combo? No recall on his race, so this could be the end. But no, just the tank will be one on point. Oh, it's one of the homes right now. This is very foul play. And Seal's not going to take any chances. Don't want to respect the 1v1. There is good Saul coming out from the defense here. Biggest, and biggest six one sides. It's quite even. If they continue to do this, Super Summon Seals will be in an advantage. Oh, and they're close to the fog. And it looks like eventually Seals will be able to take this point, but it won't be easy. Plenty of Saul coming out from the attacking side. Or er, defending yeah. side, my apologies. And they do get in overtime. Very nice uh, home again from uh, Sixth Sense. So now they'll be at, they will get three minutes added onto their time being already going to be starting off with just over what uh, six cents capture was. So they're feeling pretty good right now. They have the super or er, the Rubidic Flux as well. Soundberry comes out early. This is huge for six cents. They know the Rubidic Flux after this. Yeah, and they're for sure going to use this. Oh, saying that, Supersonic Seals are going to use it. Oh, yes, now. And the Graffiti Flux doesn't get too much, as Rodak well, heals himself up. Not Eventually, too many heals up on the side of Sixth either, as Sir Dynasty goes down. Looking for a kill here is Tommen. He has the pulse bomb, he has the chance to throw to get the insta kill, but no! Oh, but Clay denies him! Gets taken out by Jockey. <laughs> and 
Oh, the combat frog Donkey coming in, taking down two. This will be enough for six cents to hold it. Not even a tick given up. Yeah, that's that's huge. Uh, not giving up that tick despite going uh, down to four to six. That's really good. Um, we still see this Roadhog up on the attack, and I gotta say, I don't agree with it. I, I don't think Hog's in a spot right now where he should be used over six. Right. Right. I'm not really entirely sure what their uh, goal is with him, but he definitely, he definitely counters these high mobility uh, uh, players on the side of the security very well. Uh, with that hug. Going to take the gate on point, no real follow up with this though, and the supercharger comes out, immediately oh. taken down. Gets the strike. Play. Play. There goes the right. pick. Meteor strike coming through now. And plenty of holes coming up here for <laughs> Chasing the Lucio. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile the road dog just throws everyone off the edge. And Seals making this Hammond road dog work an unconventional team line. Yeah. Oh, the Grimmick floods oh, and captures Oh, yeah. they will. But they will be able to stay <laughs> through it. Oh no! The biggest dick is coming with the big pin. Absolutely alpha <laughs> It won't be enough, however, as Seals are getting all the kills they need to here. It's just not coming in fast enough and already 30 seconds. Six cents at this point just once over. Right. Yeah, they, they really want that over time. That could be There's very useful. Mine is coming in out as well. We should play no more. He kills it. No, Tommy blinks into the minefield and just yeah. under 10 oh. seconds left for the side of Seals. Very important that they got time. Yeah, they're definitely going to be really happy with that. With that, because if they got an overtime, they wouldn't be able to win this map anymore. Uh, well, as he said, instead of playing for. Uh, Instead of playing for just a draw here, they can actually play for the win. Their first attack, however, didn't go as well as they hoped. So we're going to have to hope to see something maybe a little different so that they can maybe rush down this point. Right. Let's see what both teams uh, have in stall for Ready us. For battle. Oh no, we're seeing it. It's coming out. <laughs> yep, it's desperation well, it time. You know it's EU when the Bastion comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Double shield coming out with the Mercy Baptiste. Yeah. And Sir Dionysus gonna prove a point. This... Tom and even playing the Symmetra. This is... Oh, that's extra dirty. This is real big boy hours over here. <laughs> we have <laughs> the, the, the mobile Bastion comp, as I like to call it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as if, as if Bastion was was a uh, deadly enough. Five. You give him mobility. <laughs> Three, two, one. Six, I mean, they only got they're, Super Sonic Shields only got one minute, but Six Cents are not playing around. They are going full on the Bastion, committing no basically clear. every hero to make him work. Well, we seals do honestly have a pretty good team pump to deal with Sebastian. They can rush it down with the May with the Reaper, and then they can just go for the close quarters fight. That's where Bastion is weakest, of course. They are right. just teleporting back and forth though, and Sir Dionysus has actually fell off the high ground. Oh. We'll be able to get back up. This could be really oh, no. bad. And the Bastion oh, already out of the fight. It. That's really nice. Sir Dionysus is does get taken out though. Oh, Definitely a rest. That's gonna be two big kills. Oh, me Oh yeah, that's huge. And not even a tick given over. Seals falling to the ground. Don't club baby seals, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and six cents just absolutely manhandling them, even though they lost their bastion early on. Nice rock stuns out the hammer oh, before you can no. salty much. Those <laughs> the, the, the poor, are filthy. The poor seal. <laughs> Complete. Score two to two. Well, switching sides. Now we're gonna get into the scenario that uh, Sonic Seals near uh, nearly managed to match. avoid in the second round. Uh, all they can do is draw or lose now. Um, 
and success. Sorry for my is, Discord going uh, off. That has <laughs> three and a half minutes to get one tick. Uh, that's a lot. That's a lot of time for just one tick on the first point. Ready Especially considering back. how aggressive they were on their first attack, and they just kind of yeah. rushed on through. Cat put in, what, 30, 40 seconds maybe? But on the defense, again, another EU special, the Farah Bastion. Oh. You love it, you hate it. <laughs> <laughs> and again, we do see this Mercy of Tease. Mercy of Tease is just such a strong uh, healer combo to run in these situations where you have the Bastion, where you have a Farah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Five, four, three, now on the attack with DC, two, Dionysus still one. is on the Doomfist. Of course, they probably Defend don't know for eight. sure there's a Bastion out here. It is probably something that is to be expected. But this Doomfist against the Bastion can be very problematic as, you know, Doomfist's main thing is CCing people and the CC unfortunately doesn't hit the Bastion at all when he's in the turret. Although, mm -hmm. This is a really good rotation coming in from Sixth Sense. They are speeding right up to the high ground. They want this close quarters fight that I was talking about last time. The pin it boops oh! everyone off the high ground. Oh, that's huge. <laughs> now that he that's gets one huge, as man. The, the rest of Sixth Sense just cleans up. No competition here. Only one person going down. The Dalby, mercy, the mercy, go for rest. Oh, no. Join the big ladders. We saw him first putting pressure <laughs> on that point, um, and together with that, together with the uh, the amazing charge from the Reinhardt, uh, the seals were entirely on the back foot, and uh, Sixth Sense takes this map, uh, map which means it's uh, it's all even now. Oh, sorry for the. The random people joining in chat, we did clear it up as quickly as possible. But as yeah. you said, just the, it's that pin off the high ground, and it honestly, I don't even think it was uh, it was Seal's fault. It just happened to be he happened to hit an Arisa and Fortify, which means everybody else gets booted back, and not really much, too much you can do about that. Yeah. All right. Gonna be all right. We've seen so much already of two uh, out of these two maps, and uh, though it's very even, we can kind of see uh, uh, the the we are beginning to see. The, Beginning to see the weakness and the strengths of both of these teams. Uh, which is something I really didn't expect. Talking about oh, things I, I really didn't expect. Hang on. Um, this needs to solve just short thing. Hang on. Um, Well, we will be seeing King's Row on <laughs> coming up as our next map, and we did see for a little bit uh, some May coming out from uh, both teams at some point or another. And May is very strong here on King's Row, especially during the second point. Their, your wall almost perfectly cuts off uh, an enemy from their team if you can just angle mm -hmm. it correctly. And frankly, <laughs> that's probably one of the worst things to see as a as a a player against a May turning around and just seeing a big red wall right there. <laughs> oh yes, that must be everyone's nightmare. 
<laughs> Just as you tell your team, you know, you're fine, you're coming back to regroup, and then you turn around, and you smack into the wall. <laughs> right. Initiating match. Well, we will be getting into this. Seals, of course, defending first with six cents on the attack. Now, I personally have known Tommen to run the Widow in situations like this, and frankly, this first point is a great point for Widow. You have the long sight lines, you have the cover mm -hmm. where you need it. Do you think we might be seeing it? Um, I don't know. I think both teams could be able to, to pull it off, or just maybe for the first 20 seconds trying to get that pick. Uh, and if, uh, if they can make it work, they'll just switch up. No. Uh, we see uh, Widow on both sides now. It's been a while since I've seen a good old Widow 1v1. I don't know mm -hmm. about you boys, but we do see... I mean, we've, we've seen it definitely with a... Uh, with a very interesting comps on both sides, really. Of course, you have that May, as you said, coming in. For the Supersonic Seals. This is very bizarre. We see a Reinhardt Zarya without a Lucio, and and then Five, we see a Reinhardt four, Zarya with a Ana instead of a two, Moira. This is this, is, this isn't what you always see, but hopefully we'll see something out of it. Oh. And Tom in your opening pick. Yeah, the rest Yeah, the wall does come out. Is the follow up there? It doesn't really look like it. Biggest stick is backing off just a little bit, just so he can get healed up. And Dreamer comes Ooh, back. Dreamer. <laughs> that, that's a revenge. That's a revenge right there. Now biggest thing is split off and will get uh, killed off. And Tom and respawns on the tracer. Tracer, of course, did get the buff recently. She gets three more yeah, meters of range for all her damage, which is absolutely mental. She can melt people from so far away now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Much strong. With no follow up. Colossus is here to pocket the Reinhardt on the side of Seals and Nelly goes down to the right click from the main. This one shot does 150 damage. And oh, the Q there it is. <laughs> There's the wall. <laughs> as, as the main tank, you're, you're often supposed to go through the choke first. So, especially Ryan doesn't do well on ice. Uh, and and the, the barrier that was the main wall is already a nightmare for any player to the main tank. It just it happens to you more than anyone else. That's a really nice antidote. That's a really nice shot. Nice 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 two people down. Great play from Six Sense. Tommy coming up huge for his team, picking up two of his own in the middle of the fight. Yeah. And what a good a shout out to Docky there as well. Because uh, the Ryan was about to go in, really aggressive, and swing his hammer at the grass. But he got uh, anti and that completely uh, flipped the cards. Uh, in favor of six cents. Um, uh, Honestly, Donnie's been coming up huge with these anti nades all series long. Meter quick does come out. Play goes down first, and the shatter's big. The follow up is there to Dreamer over the top where no one can contest him. And now, are we going to see a spawn hole here? Oh, the loot is chasing Dreamer! Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't respect the 1v1 yet again. Nemo takes down Arctic, that's a huge open pick. Yeah, Arctic, uh, kind of out of position there. Uh, he was, uh, trying to get, get back to his team, but Nino intercepts that. He kills him off before he can. Now we see plenty of walls coming out for either side. Hopefully for the defense they can get this mail. But it will go down. Wait, did that actually block? Wait, did that block the shadow? 
that's what it looks like. The Blizzard's there. Deny the nano to deny no, the grab on search. This Blizzard got so much value. The grab is there just to follow up. Finish off what's left of Sixth Sense. Sino is real. Does die, and there are not many kills here on the on the. I wasn't the cut out for seals. retirement, anyways. Did you have to? So, yeah, there it is. There's play. Now, as you said, Sfield did go down early, so Six Sense have an opportunity to push very aggressively here, but Clay almost gets punched off by the beat, by the rocket punch. It doesn't matter because Moira takes him down with the biotic orb. He sees the biotic orb going to spawn, almost taking that Daki on the Vaptis. Man, does so much damage. Whip Streamer now on the swap off the widow onto the Ash. Ash is a very strong hero right now. You can get so much damage with your dynamite, especially now that he has person walking with him. And another, another blizzard! This was so this just came out and if nothing else, it made out so many abilities. So Clay can get the kill onto the dynamite. It's this big wall that punishes things with the camera shatter is blocked! Great play there from Biggest Diggus. Yeah, that was very allure play. Uh, he laid a shadow down very early and then probably got only one or two people down uh, right at his feet, but instead of throwing them, he actually sees the Reinhardt, reads the Reinhardt's uh, shadow and blocks it. Very nice play. That's quite possibly even more valuable than uh, trying to get those kills first. Well, as you said, he only got one or two, but that was enough to force, uh, force Field to go for the counter shatter. Tom in early kill the Dreamer. The counter pin is there, and not even a contest coming out from the side of Seals. No. Sreel was going for it, but got, uh, got punched. Uh, knocking them both to the ground. Not is on the soldier now. This is an interesting one for me. Personally, I do think Soldier's in a good spot right now. It's just against this comp. I don't really see what they're gonna be doing on Soldier. They might not be doing on Ash or McCree, perhaps. They have the CC, they have the mobility. Oh, right. short sure, mobility. <laughs> What to do about this new fist? The shatter is there just to play. And six cents. Looking like they might be just running away with this point. Yeah, they're definitely in a rough spot here. Long camp, so they cannot touch the point. It's gonna be nice punch here for the nice That's a nice grab. That's a really good follow up. The follow up goes to six cents. He's getting all the goals. And it's funny when you see a, a team grab but the other team is what fills the kill of me. It's not the way it's supposed to work, but it doesn't seem like Six Sense cares. Seals getting absolutely run over after Score. first point. Zero to three. Switching mm. sides. Yeah, definitely. Definitely after they got Initiating second. Uh, Six Sense got the second point. Uh, Seals was kind of on the back foot. They probably had a, a trick or two um, up their sleeve by switching comms. But they were really on the back foot and they kind of got snowballed, really. Uh, not being able to position correctly or uh, they were forced to act quicker, uh, causing them to make more mistakes. And that eventually ended up uh, in Ready uh, in action. favor of six cents, uh, getting all three points. Well, from what I've seen, it does seem like six cents is more comfortable on this Ryan Zarya than Seals are. They do seem to have the Attackers pacing down a little bit better, and they even seconds. run Ducky on this Ana for a lot of it, which means they don't have the mass heals of Moira, but they know mm -hmm. how to play around it. They know how to play for the nanos, for the antis. And it's just working out really well for them, where it's not working out as well as for SEALs. They, it seems like they want to play this slower game, they want to play this bunker, they want to try and drag a fight out a little bit longer if they can. Five, but it, will four, we see that Genji three, in 2019 two, 
Yeah. Looks like a nano blade might be the play that they're playing for. Maybe oh, with the yes. Grab. And Gendry's just a hero you don't see as much anymore. He isn't at, at the spot where he once was. Aren't they already down to half HP? That's six cents. They would love to play this extremely aggressive in the seals, but oh, they no. hit these. They are huge anti. The oh stun, yes, on both sides. The side. sleep and the stun comes out on this field. However, Tommy picking up two of his own, trying to find a yeah, third. Yeah, finish like. this is both. <laughs> play and steal. And Tommy on this McCree has just been an absolute monster for this team. Seems like nobody can deal with Tom and on this tree. Six cents are just riding the wave, but they do man manage to lose out this is first, so they have to play careful here. They almost have to shatter, however. Ryan is coming oh, this shatter is gonna be early. Oh, oh my god. The attack for the way he shattered. That L right off the shatter. It's a better run. Unfortunately, the Arctic go on. He's gonna be picking up these kills and call us in the and at the same time. Gonna be a little bit too much for Dr. Yeah. Well, girls, too tired of Ryan for fighting. Arctic decides to get a few picks of his own. With that coalescence while also healing up Ryan. Really, really nice value. Now, the only thing is, the Nano and the Blade are gonna be very uncoordinated now. They don't have them lined and synced up as they would want. And you have a Nano, or sorry, a Blade with a Gravitron Surge on the side of Seals. But really, that is as good as it, as it might have once seen, especially if you look at the enemy team up. You have the Bubbles, you have the Anti, the Stun, the Ice Ball. There's so much that could go wrong in my go Right. Oh, and the sleep on the biggest stick is no, he gets woken up. The wall is there, but unfortunately, no follow. Now, High Noon is coming in from behind. Really oh, good stun. Got him. Huge stun. The Graviton Surge is there. The blade gets nothing. Nelly with the boot. Man. <laughs> At this point, you just want to see Genji's get kills with blade because it doesn't even happen anymore. <laughs> yeah. Now six cents, looking to set up, might be wanting to play this choke. This is an extremely it dangerous choke to play if you're setback. no, if you're running against a May. This it's just so perfectly fitted for the wall. And Sir Dionis is an early pick. Dreamer not getting the shielding he needs. The Colossus comes out very early here. This is questionable. Oh no. Um, it does get punished, but the freeze is there. Oh. And the shatter! I'll get slept but woken up immediately. Poor Anna. And Clay takes Sensor down. Just looking for looking for Ducky in the back. Almost lands his sleep. And it's, I think that's about the second or third time Ooh. even that Seals have woken up somebody that's been slept. Not really too much communication going on between the sleep darts there. Let them, let them sleep for a while, please. <laughs> Give them the rest they deserve. And They've been playing so and, hard. <laughs> and and now Dreamer, oh, Dreamer nice early kill on the The Blizzard is there though, and the, there isn't really too much follow up on it, but it cuts off the team. Big oh. team again on the field. With the bubbles and the barriers. It does seem, they however, like six they cents just are going to take Despite Man. Nelly, Nelly was basically a point blank rage from Zarya and his anti, <laughs> but a really nice bubble and barrier coming through, keeping him alive. And um, the fight. The biggest thing I'm saying here literally here. comes down to as simple as six cents have speed boost and seals don't. They can follow up on their antis, yeah, their walls, it. even their stuns, a lot better than uh a lot better than seals can because they're playing for this double main game set of Now biggest stick is looking big looking to play the shatter here and gets blocked kind of somehow and he doesn't get blocked the hydro doesn't find anything for dream he does push up he knows he's 
Side of six cents, they will have to back up here. Now, six cents looking to re engage here. They don't have too many ults. They are going to be playing this grab from Surge. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to put a grab or a shatter. Wheel. Not the shatter. And the nano's there, too. That's exactly what you want from your Ana as a Reinhardt. Great play there from Spiel with the shatter and the nano was just a cherry on top. Now, and Dreamer late killing a Nelly, huge stagger. Yeah, pretty big. And they still got a few nice ultimates here from both sides, really. Well, um, we've seen about four flame cat news that suck absolutely nothing. Dreamer about to go for another one, gets spotted out though by Daki. Now the dead eye has to be set over here. This is a huge sideline. This is a great floor dreamer. Oh yes. Oh, 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 but it doesn't matter. He gets two. Great turnaround. Tobin not able to react quickly enough. The, main, the blizzard is there, but Seal is going to be able to sustain with the masculine they have. It's Seal though. The big the shadow is there. Play Such a back take and forth fight. A huge You're back and forth out. fight, but yeah, six cents. They don't have a spawn advantage. Not really too much you can do about that. You know, again, staying full energy this game. We haven't really been talking too much about this Zarya, but oh my god, he's been putting in damage. <laughs> yeah, he's barely dying as well. Uh, really, really nice. Down on his on the Junkrat. This is definitely an interesting one. I'd like to see where he goes to the Dreamer. Oh no, Spiel! Absolutely manhandled by Tommen. The biggest thing is does get the Nano, but he doesn't get too much out of it. Just now the Shatter is ready on the side of uh, Seal. Spiel is going to be looking to punish. And now, here with the Zarya again, burning people down. It's a game of Zarya at this point. No, he does manage to test one last point. But not even needing to use either of their tankles to push that. Seal is doing a good job of punishing the overextension on the side of Six Sense. Mm hmm. Initiating match. So I'm gonna two minutes to, to one minute. Sorry, yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree that Sixth Sense uh, does have an edge over the supersonic uh, steals when it comes to Ryan Zarya. And uh, Sveal is kind of in a, in a tough spot here. Ready uh, for battle. And dies, I think, more than Dickus does. And uh, there can be there can be two factors about that. Uh, you can either be like out of out of position, or not having seconds. enough uh, resources uh, resources put into you to uh, for to for stay sure. alive. <laughs> and I don't really I don't really think it uh, I don't really think Sixth Sense has way more resources put on him, put on Biggest Diggers, compared to Five, the Supersonic Seals. But three, le that slight two, edge one. can be the, uh, can be so decisive, so critical. Um, and that's what you're seeing right now. Just that real slight advantage. Uh, oh, so oh, much, and a uh, huge uh, early kill from Clay. Takes down yeah. Tommen, super aggressive, yeah. and seals. Look at what they're, like they're changing up their playstyle a little bit, and it seems to be working out. They went in with this very aggressive playstyle. They want to just throw in the Moira orb and have play follow up on this Doomfist. And now on the defense, we see Tommen swapping over to the Junkrat, Ducky to the Moira. This Junkrat can be 
great for yeah. shutting down the Doomfist. You can pump out so much damage just yeah. down a simple corridor that Doomfist might want to punch down. Yeah, and, and that trap be absolutely massive if one would get stuck in there, they're basically dead. Ooh, but an early pick on the clay that brought the Doomfist won't be able to go to die on assist. They have to engage here six cents because otherwise he's gonna take too much damage. Arming, getting taken out by Arming. Oh, it takes down Dionis as well. Moira is so good against him. And the big shot is coming through! It's massive, the Colossus is there for the follow up. The dragon doesn't even get off. And huge shatter, biggest stick is absolutely slamming seals with the shatter. That's the biggest, that's the biggest shadow we've seen in this match so far. One oh, absolute cracker. Switching sides. <laughs> and the coalescence as well for the follow-up. Nothing you can do Initiating about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, both are on the edge of getting those ultimates. And six cents here. Uh, got it just again, just earlier. Um, and used it, uh, quicker than the supersonic seals and it paid out massively ready for battle well as you we were saying earlier the resources are just a little bit in favor of six cents and mm -hmm. the main culprit I see there is or sorry the main example of that I see uh, not as much in this last round Attack but in the couple rounds before the antis seconds. were such a big deal for both mm. these teams because both mm -hmm. teams were landing big antis but you didn't really have the follow-up or at least uh, the cleansing for the side of seals on the side yeah. of sixth sense you generally saw whoever got anti generally got a bubble usually got the follow-up they needed and yeah. on the side of seals it's just not how it's happening five four no three, two one no they, they we may have in already game. been uh, burning those three. resources down <laughs> and before, the bastion uh, the torb is people. coming out I oh, didn't no, even realize until just now. It looks like Six Sense are gonna push in towards where the storm turret is currently set up. This could be devastating. They could find the tanks here. The immortality field is out so early for both sides. Yep. And man, this is a rather weird comp coming in from Six Sense. Looking like they're just gonna mess around a little bit on this map. They know they have the time. And that was the biggest huge charge coming through. Biggest Dickens does get punished, but it doesn't really seem to matter yeah. as he was the main reason that they capped that in the first place. Right. And a decisive first point. Mm -hmm. A lot of us, actually, a pretty good amount of ults coming out for six cents. And not only that, they still have a whole minute left. They can lose a fight and come back. And Dionysus is doing it to them. The Bastions come out on the payload. He oh, goes. Giving it a little bit of a taste of his own medicine right there. <laughs> Coming out with the Bastions themselves. And can that's, I just say, that, the LEGO dirty. Bastion noises are so <laughs> great. <laughs> the Fritic Flex now coming out is really big. Well, the core is there for the follow up, but it doesn't matter. It's oh, no, no, the pin connects with the payload. Both Rod right Hearts are dead. <laughs> There's no follow up, though. And a, that's another winner from Daki. Daki got two windows in the time that it took Arctic to get one. That is absolutely insane. And, oh no! This is turning around! This yeah. is bad for six cents. They don't have the ults here. On the defense, you do, you're coming up on this pulse bomb. You can get an early pick here. They only have the, the graph, but it's gonna be a desperation graph. Oh, and the huge drop! Biggest stick is taking in the 100 health break and gets to the point. Grab is there, it is big. Oh, that is absolutely massive! And no it doubt in their minds, I'm sure. It was only few with Broly and cooldown. <laughs> And it's good that the supersonic seals were looking at the fo at the, at the point. They managed six times, managed to turn around and clutch it up due to a huge graph in the end, taking the map. <laughs> And I'm sure Six Sense didn't have a moment of doubt in their minds. They had it all planned out, most likely. But oh, yes. man, what oh, a yes. close match! Oh yes! <laughs>
I see now. And, and you've got to, if you're spiel there, you've got to be uh, feeling that a little bit. It's, I mean, it yeah, really was the difference between blocking the shatter and not blocking the shatter. And unfortunately, as a Ryan player, it's just sometimes, sometimes you lose the mind game. And not much you can do about that. Yeah, that's... Especially how close they were to winning that is going to leave a very bad taste in their mouth if they mm -hmm. were to lose uh, next point as well. That would mean that uh, the Sixth Sense will, uh, would have won this match. Coming up on what could be uh, the last map, which is, I believe, going to be Havana. I believe so. And, and, well, as you said, it's potentially the last map. Seals can come back and make the, and take us to a tiebreaker. They can still win this series, but, I mean, Spirits have got to be down right now. That was such a close win, and mm -hmm. it's, it's heart-wrenching to have that just taken away from you like that. Right. Yeah, we can... There are... Motivational rise, uh, it could fall on either side. Um, it could flip on either side of the coin. Because, on one hand, you could be very upset about the fact that you uh, lost that map, but it could also motivate you to put in even more work uh, mm -hmm. into winning this map, which, uh, yeah, I don't. I think they can do it. They're, they've been looking very close so far, uh, and knowing Havana, it's not really the the fa favorite Rhine map, uh, <laughs> really. <laughs> nah, you have so these uh, six cents extremely are, are, long sight lines. Right. Uh, so Six Sense is probably going to be uh, moving back onto the double shield and even more Bastion action than we've seen the whole <laughs> match so far. Um, yeah, that could change a bit. I think I think the supersonic seals uh, are lucky, or not lucky, but ha definitely have um, an edge when it comes to the to this map. Yeah, they they do seem more comfortable on the comps that are good on this map. And mm -hmm. I mean, well, yeah, as you I mean, you couldn't have said it any better. It really does come down to: Are they gonna let that loss demotivate them or motivate them? Uh and honestly, on this map, I'm, I am, ex I am hoping at least for a little bit of a widow duel. Widow is, of course, extremely good on this map. We had said mm -hmm. a little bit ago that this map has some extremely long sight lines, some of the longest in the game. So right. hopefully, we can see some spicy widow duels, maybe even a little bit of Hanzo. But yeah. realistically, we all know it's going to be Bastion. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Bastion. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, coming in. Traveling to Havana. The heat of Havana. It's going to be heated up even more when these teams start firing. <laughs> Maybe we'll see an Ash throw in a little bit of fire, you know? <laughs> Ooh. I really can't overstate how underrated Ash seems to feel in this meta, especially if you can get a pull with the dynamite. Oh man, you get so much damage. Right. Bob is, and Bob is just such a strong ultimate, especially if you put it in the correct place. Even if you throw him into Narnia, you can get value out of him because people are going to turn to shoot at him. It's just how yeah, Bob it's, works. You just have an extra player, uh, and that extra player has 1200 health and does a ton of damage if you sleep and on him. And he can get healed and you can nano him and he can get damage boosted by Orisa and Mercy. There is just so much Bob can do. The craziest <laughs> thing of all of that is that you can wave at him and he will wave back. He's the perfect butler. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> that is the single best thing they've added into this game since they let D.Va wave while she was flying. <laughs> Now on the defense, <laughs> take a wild guess as to what we'll see. Yeah. This long sideline is just so strong for Bastion. You can spam down shields from 
what is that? Maybe a hundred meters out, and so Five, it's such a good four, sight line for the Bastion three, just two, shoot down. But it looks one. like they're gonna, they might Attack even go for a defensive incoming. hold here. Oh mm. no! What they're doing is they're setting Stop up a defensive the TP so they can get out when they need oh, to right. instead of on the other case. high ground. Right. Now it looks like the side of Six Sense is gonna be playing for this Nano Blade. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Oh no! Sir Dionysus got absolutely rejected. Uh, he was standing in front of the Bastion with uh, his deflect up hoping to find oh, the blue. back to him. But he stopped and it looked really awesome. Oh, the anti! The, ant, the poop followed him calling up with the anti was huge, but unfortunately no one's there to punish on the side of six cents. And the Bastion Ooh. taking down before we can set up Clay, not giving it enough yeah, time. Dying. Oh, and the rest and, uh, is there. window are coming out from Nelly. <laughs> and now you That's see the danger, the Bastion on the high ground. Clay has such a good angle. He has to that for the Hanzo though, spamming him out. Play set up in his turret form, ready to mow down anybody who shows up. So yeah. that honest is going for another risky play there gets punished yet again. Poor Genji. <laughs> uh, we, all, we, we all love you, but you're just not always as viable as you used to be. We're just gonna now have to wait for the, for the nano blade. Do you see the biggest dick is swapped over on the road on here instead of the uh instead of the dragon ball? The dragon strike comes out, but there's a new mortality field up there. The dragon strike up there, you can just sit, sit up there. Spiel does drop off the high ground and gets punished for it. Dragon Blade comes out, is a nano there? Ooh. No, nano's not built just yet, but it doesn't seem to matter. Dion is the top and the Genji duo, sorry, Shimada duo, taking down everybody on the side of the field. Genji is out as well. Common coming in from behind Spiel. He can't hold every angle. Yeah, yeah we phrased, um... Uh, Daki's performance on the Baptiste as well, but Nelly actually got two very quick and very decisive um, windows right there. Especially the teamfight, so props to him as well. What's on the defense now? Uh, or sorry, we see on the defense now still playing with Roadhog. I'm really surprised they're already in double shield considering how strong it is with the Bastion. Yeah, so, so much right. in for it first through, and an early pick is huge for success. Yeah. Dionysus with the very alpha TP goes right in their faces. Dreamer dies to uh... The sleep dirt is huge, it cancels the bomb though! Oh, that's a huge sleep dirt! I've never seen that before. That was such a clutch sleep dart coming in from Daki again, you're pressing on this Ana. The Dragon Strike oh. was there to burn them. And Nelly and just cleaning up now. <laughs> Oh man, six cents absolutely running away with this point. Extremely good play from both the supports on this team. Burning everybody yeah, I mean, that needs to be burned. We've been quite possibly praising every single member of Six Sense uh this match so far. I mean every everyone has has been popping off uh this match so far. That is how good of a team it is. They're having a lot of very good individual plays, but also very good team play. That's why they're two to one. And now we see the Reaper and with Dionysus. Hopefully, he won't TP head first into somebody this time. But he does TP in an obvious spot, gets spotted out. He, they know he's on his flank, and Vegas Ticket gets punished by Clay on this three. Looks like finally gonna be able to step the bleeding just a little bit at least for the side of Seals. Well, yeah, saying that the car still gets pushed forward. So as much as they won that team fight, uh, Payload is still gonna move. Uh -huh. Teleporter comes through with, with a few uh, little surprises in there. Definitely doesn't love that. Person down thanks to the window on the side. Oh, sealed, and the wall is there. 
He wants to go through that pretty big. So many ults coming through and no real follow up on any of them. This wall from Dreamers is so impactful. Yeah. As one of the one of the It's just such a good non support ult to uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, to really counter that. It's definitely up there with the likes of Bob or EMP for one of the strongest EPS in the game. Yeah, yeah, it, it really is. And it can be used uh, offensively, uh, it can be used very well, and also defensively. If we uh, just see now that we see, uh, I'm getting a little bit of a season 3 vibe. A, a Reaper with ultimate and an Anna with ultimate. They were to couple those together. It can be punished. Huge punish on the now. Going for an aggressive roll on. Gets taken down by Nino. Who again is just popping off all of these games. Oh, that bomb is here, but stunned immediately. Play, great play. And the window's out. But no. You can just throw a shield in front of the window. What are they going to do about it, right? Oh, okay. Clay. Clay's got a sneaky position, and he has a dead eye. Oh no. This is gonna happen. This could be devastating, but you've got to touch point on the side of seals here. You've got to give Clay his opportunity. Oh, they know! They know! He's in! Oh. The sleep guard! Dami is not able to save himself, but it seems like it'll be enough. Arcting King. Going for the res here, but unfortunately, yeah, it doesn't seem like it'll be enough. Now. Now you do see the rest of the ball swinging around in circles, but when you have three sim turrets, not too much you're gonna be able to do. Yeah. And a um, minute 25, this is another really quick push for the side of uh, Six Sense. Yeah, one minute 25 is actually not that bad uh, for uh, for these types uh, of maps and payloads. Initiating match. So yeah, Six Sense getting. Uh, a pretty nice push so far and it's really it's really felt like a little bit of a pattern now for uh, for seals where they have a decent first point hold and then they just kind of get pushed all the way through uh, streets phase really quickly mm -hmm. now maybe we will see the offense of Bastion here I mean Bastion is just such a mainstay on this point or oh. on this map in general, and I mean for good reason. He has this, these extremely long sight lines, but maybe we'll see the Widow Ash. This could be fun. Yep. There it is, yeah. Tommen. For some bastion action. <laughs> it honestly even feels like a little bit of a must pick on this map, at least on the defense, because mm -hmm. it's just such a good sight line for him. We yeah. do see Ducky on the Zen. This is definitely a little bit of a questionable one for me. Zen, Zen's been great in the past, but right now the meta just isn't real, isn't really good for him at all. He doesn't have enough heals to keep up with his tanks. He doesn't have enough damage to burst through the shields. Yeah, I mean, I get my guess is that Six Sense just really wanted to, to, to die to kill. Supersonic seals as fast as possible, and what got her brought first the support to get than the, the original the one. <laughs> the original bloodthirsty support. The sleep dart is there. Huge sleep on to the Orisa. Tom is anti now, but there's a second shield there. This is why you run the Sigma. This is why this mom is yeah. so strong. Good yeah, dropping like, down now to punish you know? <laughs> it. And they do get the punish quite well. Now he does get taken down by Dreamer, so very low heals on the defense right now. I'm still in touch this. This could be devastating. They could just poke him down a little bit here. Now it does get to on the time, but he will get punished. Mm -hmm. Six cents. Looking looking like they might be able to hold on here for a little bit, but they don't have all their heals back yet, and this could be really bad for them. Oh, oh huge so pull onto the Honzo. Position clay, finish him off. That's huge. Sleep Dart comes out, doesn't find anything like last time. Oh, not like last time. And now actually has this Bastion completely zoned back. So much pressure being pulled with one D.Va. And he even gets a finish. 
great heads up play there for now, knowing yeah. that everybody's gonna be pushed up, looking forward. So he gets the punish onto the deep or onto the bastion, pulls the pressure he needs. And this early window, I mean, no, there's gotta be nothing you can do here. Nah. The payload has reached the checkpoint. And you can see how crucial, once again, that bastion is to their to their call. He was the only one to die on the on the side of six cents. And even even with the discord and the damage from Daki, they still don't have enough damage uh, to burn down the supersonic seals. And they make great use of that. Supersonic seals make great use of that by immediately punishing others. And when you need to fight for Bastion is even able to return. Ball yeah, coming in now early on. Death gets hit by the by the uh, rocket punch. Diva bomb comes in after the bomb and nothing. No, that's good. Now to make the play. Find both the DPS on the side of six cents. The trance is there, however, and you're just not going to the trance. Well, you can do one shots. Now Pig's coming now in for six cents and just gonna. They're just gonna edge it out here. Huge uh, D mech though on the biggest niggas. He knows oh, that he will be mech for a while, but a good stagger. Don't touch me. And now hit by the uppercut or the seismic off the top ropes. All better. Easy stuff. Out for the attack instead. They have plenty of damage boosts ready, but they don't really have too much to follow up with. Now the sights are up. You can see everyone everywhere on the side. If you're uh, on the side of seals, let them up. And the window comes out. It might have been a little bit early, if anything. No. Riveted Flux doesn't find anything far. either. And questionable yeah. ults coming out right now from the side of the steel. Even a lot more like the press man. And we comes out on the arrest up. And six cents just kinda getting hit. They're just kinda losing resources. Uh, left and right, and they can't really push up. Meet your strike! Meet your strike to make this one out. Oh, trying to take out Arctic with Arctic jumps. Get forever. Fail. Now it's we on the top of the position against Nino. Nino, bring him. Dreamer takes out Tom with a nice little headshot. Takes out Nelly as well. Can he find a third? Take out three! Daki not able to find this Widow before the Widow finds her head. And Dreamer opening up this point completely for his team. Nice sleep dart on the oh, new yeah. Again, it's woken up. Seals let people sleep. <laughs> people want. No one can hide from people my need sight. Their oh no! Dreamer almost just one clipped on accident. And nice. Sticky the immortality is just too late. He's not, He's not gonna clutch out yet. He's not gonna clutch out. Let me let me throw a bullet on the back. Well, maybe he won't, but Bob is definitely trying his best to come in though. Got the nano and come in. And... Oh, the Bob! I knew it! The play comes up with four. Bob, of course, beating three of them. Play a five man to end second point. Great play coming in. And this Bob was so perfectly positioned under the high ground, so he couldn't get burned by the people that were sitting up there trying to take advantage of the window that Nelly dropped. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they got they got halted off the high ground. <laughs> waiting. Waiting for the Bob. And Bob just absolutely cleans <laughs> up. Get in here! Now this is a pretty good spot for Seals to be in. They have two and a half minutes. This is plenty of time to try and get some ults together to win this push. And yeah. I mean, like we were saying in the first map, it seems like when it comes down to just straight ult the ult fights, it seems like uh like seals have the advantage. It's just they have to get plenty of ones. The bongo comes out with the window and the nano boost, all the damn juices in the world coming out for uh for seals and nothing getting found. And the demon bomb is there, nicely yeah. done, takes down to the bongo. And Tommen on the widow versus uh Dream on the widow. I mean it's what it's what we called early on. And defensive widow, honestly, on this point, is just so much stronger than, than offensive widow. You're already set up on your flank. 
Ooh, Tom had almost taken down Arctic, has to drop that in Retaliate well, field, so he doesn't get taken down. And that's going to be unfortunate for the side of, uh, no one of Seekers. They don't have some Retaliate for what they want to shit. It's going to be huge. Oh, oh man, it is! It's huge! The Immortality Field is there, but Nelly doesn't call out his team where it'll be, so he gets two people down as Dreamer gets one of his own. And this will just be an easy push into the end of third point. Dreamer, another late kill. Yeah. Dreamer's just been so crucial to this team right now on this map. He clutched up when his team needed it. Tommen though, takes down the carry. Ooh. The dynamite is there, but two people burning on the side of, uh, of Seal. I can't remember the name. Again, I am very sorry. <laughs> and the Bob is there, unfortunately. Play against, uh, Punish. And I honestly didn't even see where Clay's Bob went. <laughs> Bob went straight to spawn straight into uh, if Nelly's face, but Nelly has the immortality field to stay alive. It got right out of there, because that's one scary level. Dreamer and Tommen are trading back and forth here. Clay and punishes Tommen for the overexertion of Tommen. But he's a good flip of game of Ooh, Widows. Ooh, that's a good for flip box. That can do a lot of damage. He does. And Nelly takes that hard kick. This can be absolutely huge. Six cents looking like they're going to win this one. Oh, no, no, boost the bump. Through the window. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's it. That, done. We're done here. <laughs> if that's... <laughs> That's the perfect way to win. Congratulations, Six Cent, on winning. Of the game. Oh, I want to see this though, because this was a really, really nice play. Yeah, I'm gonna fly. You can, you can, you can totally watch. Oh. <laughs> nice little heady. There goes another. Looking for the Double. third. And oh. he, he got the shot off before the nade even went off. Great shots from from Dreamer. Absolutely opened yeah. it up for his team. <laughs> Call him the yeah, opener. Definitely. Despite, despite the beautiful plays from uh, the Supersonic Seals, Six Sense is going to be is has won their first preseason match now, and uh, hoping to get both captains in for a post-match interview shortly. Tommen. Uh, I'm saying that right. Hello, hello. Hey, Tommen. <laughs> uh, welcome, Sweel. Hello. Um, hello, hello, hello. We got both captains in here. First of all, uh, Tommen, uh, Tommen, and Six Cents. Congratulations on the win. Uh, it was a very nice game, and we've yeah, seen was... we've seen a ton of good plays. And yes, definitely, uh, I think um, they they played really well. I have to tip my hat off to them. They played very um, very slick and very solidified as a team. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think in the first map we were like uh, I don't know, like we, we felt like we were winning team fights, but we lost like the overall rounds in general. But I think that's just because of like our old management and it's like I don't know, not all of us were calling. But I think once we yeah I don't know, like got the tempo up, then it was kind of um, it felt it felt a lot more comfortable to play. Right. Yeah. I mean, um, I think the thing is for us, we we ended up having lots of players in our team kind of leaving last minute, and so we had people kind of like just just uh, ending up signing them, and so for a lot of us, for a lot of the the new players, um, this is like the first time playing, so mm -hmm. there was a lot. I'm pretty sure you can see it. There was a lot of times where we were split up. And we weren't playing really yeah. as a team. Uh, comms. Right. There were some uh, issues where a guy's mic wasn't working. Um, but I mean, that being said, uh, yeah, they Sixth Sense played really well. Um, 
Yeah, it was the first time playing with like I think Daki and also uh, Biggest Stickers, and yeah, I think they turned up quite well. That like, was the first time playing with them. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we, de we so, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Supersonic Seals definitely deserves some praise uh, for the performance today, because despite uh, the technical difficulties and, and the players dropping out, and uh, synergy is a really big thing in this game. And yeah, definitely. You absolutely yeah. gave Six Sense uh, a run for their money today. So, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, we we definitely tried everything. I mean, that, that that's the whole point of this uh, kind of like scrim prison. Uh, season thing. Um, take nothing away from Sixth Sense, but we're, we're really gonna um, take a look at this match and review on our mistakes, and hopefully mm -hmm. come back stronger the next time. Uh, definitely. Uh, yeah, it is a preseason game, so it's like uh, everyone's got time until like the real matches start. Yeah. Right. When, when is the um the first the first game? When when does the season start? By the way. I preseason ends it's... this coming week, I think. Okay. Right. Right. So wait, is this the last week of free season? I do Maybe. think so, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um Yeah, we talked about uh a lot a lot of player a lot of individual plays as well. Uh in the in this match. And uh we <laughs> we kinda have a tradition here that we go through both of the teams and ask their captains, who do you think was uh Possibly the best player on the opposite team, and Ooh. because uh, six cents won first, I'm gonna ask Tommen uh, if there was one person that gave you a lot of trouble today on the opposing team, who would it be and why? Um, I think maybe the off tank. I felt like he was kind of like holding the team together in a lot of places, and he made it really difficult for me personally to play as DPS as well. So I think mm -hmm. that Nayo Fum. <laughs> I don't say his yeah, name. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt like he was really solid. He was like always there in the right places, and it was like super frustrating to play against. And he was somehow like surviving through like team fights and uh, like clutching it as well. So I think give it to Nafumi. Right. Cool. Um. Uh. I'm gonna ask you the same questions for you. Who do you think? Uh, oh, gave there, you there, were, there were quite a lot of players on there that really stood out. Um. But. Who who was the Doomfist on? Um... Oh, that was uh, Dio. Yeah, it, it it was yeah. The Doomfist was quite oppressive at times, where I felt like I really couldn't like uh, do much, especially being uh, on the Reinhardt or any sort of tank. Really, uh, he kind of just took his space. But for me, I think personally, it, um, it would be Urano on your team that. There were Definitely. times when you they would land some really clutch anti bayonets mm -hmm. and then that would win the team fight for you guys. Uh, right. Yeah, there was so much that was going on that even when I tried to keep track of those nades, um, they would somehow still manage to land on our team. And yeah, so for me it would be Yorana. I, I don't know who Yorana is, but uh, yeah, it was Daki. Cool. Yeah, Daki, Daki, that's it. Um. Yeah, those are. I, I don't really have questions anymore. Angels, uh, do you have any questions for these captains? Not, I mean, not really. It was a really close game. It was extremely fun to watch with you guys going against each other. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, I really hope you can get your team stuff worked out for the main season because y'all oh, will definitely I'm, be a great team. We mm -hmm. are looking forward to it when, when the season starts. Right. We, we do, too. Cool. Um... Yeah, so that's uh, that's gonna be it. Uh, congratulations awesome. uh, to Six yeah, Sense. Congrats, and, Six Sense. Thank you, thank you. And uh, we hope to see you uh, back again in the seat when the season starts. Yep. Thank you very much, guys. Right. Take care. Yeah, Later. GGs, guys. Bye. GGs. All right, that's gonna do it today uh, for us. This was the Supersonic Seals versus Six Sense. Six Sense winning it three to one. Uh, and a very exciting game to watch. Um, uh, I've been Tifa Rubin, uh, joining you today with Angels, and we hope to see you back uh, tomorrow, I believe. Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yep, see you guys.